Welcome to the channel. Big news is coming for the Linux desktop, and it's not just another Chromium clone. The Orion browser, originally developed exclusively for Mac OS, is officially on its way to Linux. And no, this isn't just a vague promise. Development is already underway, and it's shaping up to be something truly interesting. Orion is built on WebKit, the same rendering engine used by Safari. But unlike Safari, Orion has been optimized for speed, minimal resource usage, and most importantly, privacy. It doesn't track you, it blocks ads by default, and it supports Firefox and Chrome extensions natively. Yes, both. Now here's where things get even more interesting. Orion is developed by Kagi, a company that's been making waves with its privacy-focused search engine. While Orion isn't fully open source yet, Kagi has begun to heavily fork and contribute to WebKit. They're embracing parts of the open source model. And while the full code base of Orion still isn't public, this shift toward openness is a promising signal. And if you're a Linux user, there's more good news. The upcoming Linux version of Orion will use GTK4, not Qt. This is significant because commercial apps usually go for Q2 due to its corporate-friendly licensing. Choosing GTK4 means aligning more with GNOME and the broader open source ecosystem, a bold and refreshing move. Of course, it won't be released tomorrow. The Linux port will take time and we can only hope the company commits to making it fully open source. But the direction is clear, privacy first, performance focused, and now finally, cross-platform. If Orion lives up to its vision on Linux, it might become a real alternative to Firefox and Chromium-based browsers, especially for those who care about freedom, speed, and simplicity. Stay tuned. The browser wars on Linux are about to get a little more exciting. Thanks for being here, and see you in the next video.